Meanwhile, a Kern River Valley teen survives an unimaginable car accident. Eyewitness News reporter Lena Folk spoke with the family about the moment they thought they lost their son. They thought that we had lost him. My husband thought that he was watching his son die, basically, watching the Jeep fly, you know, over end over end all the way to the bottom of the mountain. It was incredibly scary. We could see him at the bottom moving, but he was so far down that we couldn't get to him. On Friday, April 5th, 18 year old Elijah Wax tumbled at least 500 feet in Squirrel Mountain Valley near Lake Isabella. Elijah was in the driver's seat of a Jeep after he and his father tried to winch the car. The teen was alone in the car during the plunge and landed in a deep drainage. Something snapped and it went end over end and tumbled all the way to the bottom of the mountain. Um, I heard Shane yelling, my husband yelling for help and I called 911. First responders received a call around 2.30 p.m. Elijah was pinned in the vehicle while firefighters performed an off-road rescue. With Friday's snowy conditions continuing to worsen, reaching Elijah was a challenge. They made it down to the patient and at that time the patient had self-extricated or had been able to climb out of the vehicle on his own. Meanwhile, as all this is going on, the fire captain of this crew is attempting to launch a helicopter to come and fly the patient out to the hospital. And due to the weather, multiple helicopters were forced to refuse the assignment. It was unsafe for them to fly. To transport Elijah out of the drainage, firefighter Joshua Asherman carried him on his back and up the mountain where paramedics treated Elijah and transported him to the hospital. Elijah is now home recovering after suffering only a broken nose and some cuts and bruises. His survival is something his family and many others in the Kern River Valley community are calling a miracle. Had nobody been able to get him, he probably would have bled to where he was passing out. He was yelling to us that he was getting dizzy and he was bleeding. And I'm so super appreciative for all the first responders, the, the Kern Valley Search and Rescue, California Highway Patrol, Kern County Sheriff's Department and the Kern County Fire Department. They were instrumental in making sure that he came home to us that night. Lena Folk, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.